another group of friends so this is the look that i came up with today and if you want to know how to get this look then please keep on watching so i'm going to start up by first applying a lip balm and then i'm going to moisturize my face using my patanjali coconut cream Next, I'm going to be using my Benefit for Professional Primer on my T-Zone area. And we'll move ahead by correcting my problem areas with my Kralon TV Paint Stick in 303. Then for that ultimate glow, I'm going to be using my face's Altime Pro Metallic Glow in Champagne and will be applying this on the highest point of my face, randomly blending that all over. And for my foundation today, I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear in NC35. Once I'm done with applying my foundation, I'm going to move on to fill in my eyebrows and to fill in my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution Bulletproof Palette and this is how my eyebrows look after they are done. Now I'm going to be using my Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer on my eyelid area and then using a brush, I'm going to blend that all out. Applying the same on my lower lash line and again using a brush, I'm going to blend that all out. Now to set my primer in place, I'm going to be using my MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Finishing Powder. And then I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette, which is my favorite these days. And using this first eyeshadow, which is Blazing Eyeshadow, which is a deep orange eyeshadow. And I'm going to apply this into my crease area, slowly building up the color up there. Then using a small tapered blending brush, I'm going to pick this Turkish Delight eyeshadow which is a pink shimmery eyeshadow and we'll be applying this onto the very socket and then using the MAC Vanilla Pigment to highlight my brow bone area and also the inner corners. Then using my Makeup Geek Mocha eyeshadow on a pencil brush, I'm gonna draw out this V shape on my outer V area. And then further to darken that up, I'm going to be using my Makeup Geek Corrupt Eyeshadow on top of that Makeup Geek uh, Mocha Eyeshadow and then using the same paper blending brush to blend that all out. And without any extra product on, I'm going to take that same black eyeshadow into the very socket of my eye. Then using my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in Ivory and I'm going to apply this on my eyelid like this and then going to open up my eyes wide open like literally like this and then we'll blend out the concealer on my entire eyelid area and on my lid area I'm going to make sure that I'm applying this concealer only on the inner V that I have created. And then using the Celestial Eyeshadow which is a nice uh, pink gold shimmery eyeshadow on top of all those areas where I've applied my concealer and then just going back with that small tapered blending brush and blending out the harsh edges and reapplying some black eyeshadow again now I'm gonna be tight lining my upper and lower waterline with Maybelline closely cordial and gonna smoke it out using a pencil brush then going back with that small tapered blending brush and some Turkish Delight eyeshadow to smoke it out further. And then using that same black eyeshadow, I'm going to be applying this because I have kind of lost some intensity of that particular black eyeshadow. Now I'm going to be doing off my eyeliner with this Sardius Clay eyeliner and I'm just doing a very regular winged eyeliner with the 
extended flick at the inner corner and then prepping up my lashes for some fall seas which is this glow mary beauty lashes and duchess now i'm just gonna finish off my foundation in really really speed mode because this video is getting a bit longer and i don't want to do that so i'm just gonna finish up with that After I'm done with all that, I'm going to be using a combination of MAC Wamplify in What's Going On and Flash Drive. First applying Flash Drive and then I'm using What's Going On on top of that and then using a tissue paper to kind of take off the excessive and again going back with the Flash Drive on top of that. Now I'm just going to open up my hair and this is it. So this is the final result my girls. I hope you'll like it. If you like it, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!